Hey, in this lesson, we're going to get up and running with our development environment where we can type in SQL commands and interact with the Oracle database. So to do that, just open up your browser and everything we do in this course is going to be done in the browser, believe it or not. And you, you need to go to this website called apex.oracle.com. And you just need to create an account here. And basically, this is a managed instance, an Oracle instance online on the cloud. And you can use this web interface to interact with the Oracle database. And uh, that's really handy, very quick to get started. So just click on this free workspace option. And you can select application development. And next, you just have to fill out some information. I'm going to fill it out here. And here we need to provide the workspace that uh, we're going to be working with. So in my course, I typically uh, leave it as learn aura underscore my last name, A-H-M-A-D. And you can do the same thing um, or just put a one, two, three or whatever. Basically, there should not be any conflict. So I've already created a workspace called learn aura. If I hit next here, it's going to complain. It's going to say, well, we need to create a different workspace name, all right? So I'm just going to put A-H-M-A-D with my last name and hit next. And we need to give a schema name. And a schema name, don't worry too much about what it is right now, but basically it's going to be the user. All the data that we're going to create in the database is going to belong to this user. So create your own schema name. I'm just going to call this SQL training and we want to leave the 25 megabyte. This is just a free package. You can either have 10 megabytes or 25 megabytes. 25 megabytes is more than enough for this course. So select that, hit next, and just fill out some of this information. Can Oracle contact you about your uh, usage? I'm just going to select no for all of these. Since we're going to be using this workspace to learn the SQL syntax for Oracle, these questions are not really relevant for us. So you can just hit next, and now uh, you have to accept the terms and agreements after reading this. Hit next and we should be pretty much ready. We're about to request the workspace called uh, learn aura underscore Ahmad. Uh, here's my name and this is the schema name, the user that all the data we create will belong to. And we will verify that we are not a robot by entering this code <laughs> and hit submit request. And there it is, workspace requested. Your workspace Learn Aura Ahmad has been successfully requested. Once this request is approved, your login credentials will be emailed to the email address that I provided. Okay, so let's head over to my Gmail account. And here we are. This is the email that they have sent me. And the password, I can access that from this link right here. I click that and it's taking me to the place where I can set the password for this workspace. So this is just going to take a minute or so. It's setting up the database for us with our account and our workspace. This tool that we're going to be using throughout the course called Apex is just a web application that's hosted by Oracle. Uh, Apex stands for Application Express and it's an awesome, awesome application we can get up and running really quickly without having to worry about downloading the database and then installing it on our machine. So whether you're a Windows user or a Mac user like I am, you can use this tool to, to learn SQL um, with, a, with an actual Oracle database deployed on the cloud and that's managed by Oracle. So it's a really fast setup to learn the SQL language. If you already have a Oracle database installed on your machine, whether it's 10G, 11G, or some other edition of Oracle, the SQL that we're going to be learning in this course is going to work in those versions as well. So you can choose to use some other developer tool, such as SQL Developer or Toad, or you can use this development environment that I'm using called Apex, which saves you from the trouble of having to download and install your own database. So here it is, workspace successfully created. So let's continue to sign in screen. And here's our username uh, that we're logging in as and the password. I'm just going to give it a password that I will not forget. And you can do the same for your account. Uh, you're of course going to have your own email address that you used for confirmation. And you're going to pick your own password. Once you've set up the password, just hit apply changes. And we should be ready to rock and roll. And here we are. 
So we are in the development environment of this really handy user-friendly tool that Oracle provides for practicing some of their components, the application builder, the SQL workshop. All of the work that we're going to be doing is going to be in this SQL workshop. So let's click that. And if you go to Object Browser, these are all the objects that exist in the particular database. Uh, select this drop down button. These are the different types of objects that can exist in a database. And as I said in the previous lesson, tables. Tables are what store all of the data in a database. That's the most crucial object in a database. So that's basically when you select that, that's what's being shown here. All of this stuff here, uh, the apex dollar signs, these are just uh, default system specific tables. They contain data that we don't need to worry about. Uh, the data that we're going to be interested in and querying and working with using the SQL language is going to be in these two tables, DEPT, D-E-P-T, and E-M-P. These tables come as default. Um, in every database, every Oracle installation, okay? So again, this Oracle database is installed somewhere on some server, and we are accessing it using this handy web interface that Oracle has given us. We created an account, and it set up the workspace for us to be able to connect to that database wherever it's located on the cloud. So now let's uh, issue some SQL commands so that you can see that we are able to uh, work with this database. So let's go back to the SQL workshop. As a matter of fact, you can just click on this arrow and click on SQL commands, and that will take us to the place where we can start typing SQL statements. Okay, so now we can just type in some SQL commands, select star from emp, and don't worry what this means. I'm going to go over in great detail exactly what each one of these commands mean, but for now I just want to test whether everything is running. So this is the table emp that uh, we're going to be working with quite a bit in this course. So hit this run button over to the right and notice that uh, once this is done execution, it shows the data that resides in that table. Okay. The other table that we're going to be working with is called DEPT. So let's run and make sure that we have access to see that as well. And yes, we do. Okay. So it's a two minute step to set up the uh, apex.oracle account and you will have access to practice Oracle SQL statements. And uh, that's all you really need for this course. This course is gonna be SQL heavy. We're gonna be going over the entire Oracle SQL language so that you can take the uh, SQL Fundamentals Associate Certification if you choose to. And this is a great field to get yourself in. Data is key in the marketplace. And data has never been more important. Um, and there are huge job opportunities in the database space. So really master this course, learn what SQL, how to use SQL to interact with the database. And if you're looking for a career in database development, this is certainly going to be the course for you. So now that we have everything set up, let's uh, move on to the next topic in this lesson where we're going to start digging deeper into what each one of these commands are. So stay tuned. I'll see you in the next lesson.